Any Barry student that has spent time around Rome has no doubt taken note of the Rome Clock Tower, which stands as one of the city's historic landmarks. The clock tower has a rich history dating back to the 1870s. Rome history archivist Selena Tilly shares details. As far as the clock tower, what has always fascinated me was the fact that most people have no idea that it was a water tower. They think it was put up just to tell time from. The more I started digging into the history of the clock tower, uh, the more I started realizing that there's a deeper story here. The building's transformation from a water tower to the clock tower, as we know today, began with a wish from the people of Rome. The citizens of Rome felt like they really wanted to beautify the tank in some way, because at that time it was just the brick superstructure, the tank, and a roof over the top. So they ended up uh, going to Mr. Noble, who designed the original system and ask him to come up with something to put up on top. So he drew up plans for the clockworks and they were added about six to eight months later. And then the clock tower, of course, was rededicated once that was done around November, December of 1872. Since then, the clock tower has seen many changes, but it still stands as a representation of Rome and its strong community over the past century and a half. Tour guide Dennis Norman and architect Mark Cochran expressed their thoughts on the tower's impact. This is part of their history. It's part of, the, part of what makes Rome what it is today. Of course, being built in 1871, it's been, been there ever since. It's become the icon. It's become the, the symbol of Rome. Love the clock tower. Love that it's, it's kind of a awesome idea and, and kind of the way that uh, people perceive it and they're proud of it and uh, yeah it's just kind of nice to have something kind of a symbol to unite everybody in the city. It is clear the community of Rome values this important landmark and they hope it will continue to stand for generations to come. With Viking Fusion News, I'm Mary Grace Fontheron.